Hello and welcome to the Spirit Safe. My name is Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I shared with you, a couple of months ago now, my latest um, project. And that was uh, to start aging my own spirits in this one litre micro cask. Uh, it's new American oak, uh, mid char. Uh, bought it online about 60 odd uh, Canadian dollars, including delivery and taxes. Uh, so I bought this and obviously you have to season it and I uh, did a bit of research. I just want to share what I did, how it works out for me. Uh, this is uh, obviously only the first chapter of yet to put the spirits in it. I've got a uh, port in it at the moment. Um, so I bought it, I left it alone for a bit because I didn't have the, uh, the time uh, to devote to it when it first came through the door. Um, but the rule is that once it's wet, uh, once the barrel is wet, then it always has to be wet, otherwise it will go mildewy. So what I did, um, I filled it with very hot water, not boiling, but far too hot for hand washing, and rinsed it out five or six times. I didn't notice any big uh, chunks of anything or splinters, but there were maybe dusty type particles in it. Um, certainly nothing offensive, absolutely no soap, just the warm water. Uh, so I rinsed that out, uh, as I said, five or six times. Um, and then I filled it with that warm, very warm water again. And it leaked, <laughs> it leaked like nothing I could have imagined. It was like a racehorse urinating. And I thought, what's wrong with it? This isn't going to get, uh, this isn't going to get um, watertight. There's just no way. Anyway, I've, before night time, I filled it up again. It lost about a quarter of its contents. It was leaking at the front of the barrel face and at the back as well. Nothing around the spigot, which is good news. Um, so I obviously filled it up and I kept refilling it. Um, so, sorry, the next morning I uh, looked at it and saw that it had lost quite a bit of its uh, contents, but it seemed to be more watertight. So I kept changing the water every day. I think there were one or two days that I didn't bother. Um, but for the course of uh, about five to seven days, I seasoned the wood and I noticed that it was losing a bit less water every time I refilled it, actually. Um, so what that did was it put water back into the wood so I wouldn't lose any uh, time, wouldn't lose any alcohol to uh, rehydrating the wood. So. Then I filled it with this really lovely ruby port. Now I don't really drink port, so I don't know what is a good port and what is not such a good port. But judging by the price and how frankly rough it is, I know that this is not uh, the best in the world. I deliberately chose ruby port because it tends not to be uh, to have lots of oak influence. It's a young very fruity pulp and I thought that would be good to season the barrel with. So I'm not going to review this because I just don't know enough about it but it's a bit wishy-washy. It's certainly not a 25 year old pulp. And yeah it's perfectly pleasant, it's very sweet but there's no age to it, there's no depth to it. So, pretty good blank canvas to start with. So this has been in the barrel, I've left it in the garage where it's got quite a, um, quite a constant temperature. And um, I've been resisting the temptation not to drink <laughs> half of the barrel. Um, every day or so I've been turning it a quarter turn. I've not quite had the courage to turn it completely on its head with just the bung uh, keeping it in yet. Um, but that's what I've done. It's been 24 days now. It's been in there. Uh, I tasted it only once and I thought that was a big improvement. So what I will do is I will just have another very slight nip of this. I'm just pouring a small glass. Put the bung back in. So yes, this has been aging now for just 24 days, not a long time. It has, I think, 
obtained a much, much darker colour. This is a charred barrel, of course. Okey, okey, okey. Very, very, very much, much more of an oak character. It's retained a lot of its fruitiness, but there's a lot more oak and a slight carbon note to it as well. You can tell I don't drink wine, can't you? Gosh, look how much darker that is. Mm. Retained its fruitiness, retained its sweetness, and it's obtained a bit more vanilla, some tobacco, and a lot of creamy oak. So, I don't know wine, but I do know that the barrel here has absolutely influenced the, uh, the content in such a short space of time. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this experiment actually. I wasn't when I filled the barrel and it leaked constantly for, <laughs> for 24 hours, but yeah, so far. And really, I bought the cheap port because I was ready actually just to pour it away, just to, to use the port to season the barrel to get the to get the uh, to get the flavour into the barrel and then throw it away and put some spirit in it and then the spirit is obviously the thing that you're looking for. What I might do actually is drain off enough to make room for the other half of the bottle. I bought two bottles of course because it's a, a one litre cask and I wanted to get it wanted to get the fill right up to the top so I get an even um, even coverage. Um, so what I might do is draw off what remains, or sorry, draw off enough to make room for what's left in the bottle, the cheap port, and then I will enjoy the aged port, and that will have a bit, the barrel will then have a bit more time with some fresh port as well to go on. And that would be kind of like a, I think you call it a venom, where they withdraw some of the spirit from a cask and then refill with, uh, with new spirit. So it would be kind of a venom. Um, so that's my plan. Maybe it will be another two weeks, maybe another month, uh, before I decide to put my spirit in there. But yeah, this has been interesting for me so far. I can't say that what I've done is absolutely the right thing. Um, I did only a cursory amount of research, but um, this is what I've done, and so far, you know, the thing hasn't exploded. So stay tuned, uh, I think the next chapter we'll have will be when I've put my spirit in it and we'll see, uh, we'll see what the results are. Okay, cheers everybody, bye bye.